Hey everyone, happy Friday. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this video. I appreciate you watching. Um, so about five days ago, five or six days ago, I ordered a, a record from a gentleman named David who resides in Japan. Uh, David actually has a channel, a great Elvis channel called Elvis Presley in Japan. Uh, he is extremely knowledgeable. Uh, the majority of his videos are about Japanese pressings. Um, he is, in my opinion, an expert on it. So very entertaining. Um, check him out. I'm gonna move this a little bit closer so you can hear me a little bit better. But I ordered this particular album from him roughly about five or six days ago. And I was downstairs exercising, a knock was on the door. I opened it up and I saw this box. And I'm like, I don't remember. I know I was expecting something later today by the regular mail, but I looked at the box and then I saw some um, Japanese writing and then I knew. So I wanna open it and I will show you. I'll try to do this quick because I actually start work in a little bit. So I'll open this real quick and show you what it is that I got. I'm using scissors, I'm not using the, my normal knife technique. I will say he packaged it extremely well. So here's the, take it up. Ah, pretty cool. This came out. So we included that, so thank you David for that. I will keep that as a keepsake. What is it that I get from him? All right. What I got was Japanese, ooh, Japanese fun in Acapulco. And here is, take the record out. Record's in a clear sleeve, which I believe they, they come in normally. Um, but it is in fabulous, fabulous condition. Yeah, beautiful beautiful vinyl. As you can see, it's extremely shiny, near mint, absolutely no spindle wear whatsoever on the label. But I could see there is side two. In Japan, I think due to copyright reasons, they don't have RCA Victor, it's just Victor, and of course, Nipper. And it says, as you can see, it says Fun in Acapulco, and then it's written in Japanese below that. So look at that, man, that is a real beauty. I had my eye on this. He's had it listed for a few weeks. I had my eyes on it. I didn't pull the trigger on it. And the more I thought about it, I was like, you know what? I don't have many Japanese pressings, but you know, there is the, the back. It's all just written in Japanese. Um, and much like the, uh, these remind me of the UK pressings where the covers are kind of kind of flimsy, not like the US. But this is one of my favorite soundtrack albums. Um, so I'm very, very pleased to get it and to add it to my collection. And again, thank you, David, for including this. This is really, really cool. Oh, wow. I think it says, it does. It says Elvis. If you look really close, the letters E-L-V-I-S. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, really, really cool. So I'll put that in there with this, actually here all right and then part two of this video um as you know as i've mentioned um of the 42 or 43 ftd lp releases i needed four of them to complete the collection this particular one was what was the top of, of the four albums this is the one that i wanted the most out of the four of them it has eluded me uh, for a number of reasons. One, availability. And when I did find it, it was always way too high priced. If there were bids on it, it went way beyond what I was willing to pay. And I found a collector, uh, a guy that you know, struck up a conversation uh, through the, the messaging system in eBay. And I talked to his wife a little bit. She is part, she's a big Elvis fan too. And they go to um, Graceland. I think she said this is their 21st year. I could be wrong on that. Um, but uh, he was paring down his collection, and I was finally able to get a brand new sealed copy of this beauty, Elvis Presley, The Jungle Room Sessions. There is the, the hype and stupid glare. So I'll read it. Um, Elvis, Jungle Room Sessions, special limited edition, two-disc set, 
100 gra 180 grams heavyweight vinyl DMM copper mastering. There's a, the back of it, picture from downstairs in the jungle room. There, I'll hold up the tracks, so hopefully you can get that. The glare doesn't get you. <laughs> Just show that to you. If you want to pause, hit the pause button. So, a lot of great, great, great stuff. So, add this to my collection. Like I said, this is probably, I've probably been looking for this for a good, probably close to a year and a half. Like I said, I just couldn't find the right deal. And that is one of the harder ones to find. But then, something not so great. So, at probably two days after I bought that, um, I saw the Jungle Room Sessions FTD 2 CD set, and I pulled the trigger, and that was pretty inexpensive. And I actually got that one for a really good price. Compared to what they've been going for, I got it for a really nice price. I was very pleased about that. But uh, I'm going to take these downstairs and pop it. Okay, not that weak. Yeah, when I'm at my desk and I'm working, I'm between accounts. I'll sit there. If I got uh, the shipping stuff, I'll sit there and pop it. Entertains me and kind of a stress reducer. That one's not popping so great. But um, yeah, I got this for a really fantastic price. I was very, very pleased with it. Um, he had a, a price on it, which was already a good price, but then I think he had a best offer. So I gave him an offer and uh, they came back and they accepted it and now I add it. So now I have three to go. So I need Jealous Rock Volume 1, The Good Time Sessions, and Hot August Night. So um, I think Hot August Night, I found somebody who's willing to sell it to me, so that'll be next. Um, but anyway, to back to my story, I bought the FTD 2 uh, CD set. Um, so yesterday, it was supposed to arrive yesterday. So I get the alert that it's been delivered. So um, usually it'll, it'll say uh, delivered in mailbox. So that's what it said. So took Ginger, my dog, for a walk, and we walked around the block a little bit. And I walked up, because we live in townhouses, so we have the mailboxes. So uh, went to my number, opened it, grabbed the mail, and um, there was a package in there, and I thought it was it. And I had actually got this release. I needed this one. I got this. Um, I got this from Amazon. No, I actually bought this from somebody on eBay. Cheaper than what it was, like 31 bucks on Amazon. I actually got it for a little bit cheaper. But I uh, haven't cracked this open yet, but I've, I, I have the, the uh, vinyl on this, but I didn't have the CD set. So I opened it. I'm like, hmm. So... I got back, I went through the mail, no sign of the CD. So I waited a few hours just in case it had been put in the wrong box and then one of my neighbors got it. So um, I waited and I walked down another three or four hours. I walked down a few hours later and uh, looked in the mailbox and it was as empty and barren as it can be. So I'm hoping um, that whoever got it, that they, you know, know my address, they have the address on there, they drop it off on my doorstep and I get it. Um, the person that I bought it from, they have one more copy left. And there's this stubborn part of me that just doesn't wanna bite the bullet. It was like, it was like 25 bucks and a few bucks for shipping, which is cheaper than what it was when it actually came out. It was brand new, um, had the, you know, the seal and everything, but I don't know, man, I'm stubborn. I just almost can't bring myself to, to break down and, and get it, but Knowing me, since I have the LP set now, I will probably get the CD set just because I have to have it. So, um, what's going on? Oh, our deck should be done by Sunday. Um, Saturday, there's some things going on. My father-in-law and my wife will be uh, busy with uh, a couple things at, my ch at our church. And uh, so, it looks like Sunday we will complete the steps. It'll be finished, and uh, I'll take you for a little tour once it's all done, maybe next week. Um the next video I'm going to do is I had somebody or I've had some people ask me to do uh, some FTD vinyl releases. So what better way to look at? We're going to do this album next. So my next video will be a listen and a review of Elvis Country. Um, fantastic record. So that'll be that will be uh, that'll be next. So let me just slide that back in there. So, uh, yeah. That's uh, next on the agenda. Um, thank you all for subscribing. Thank you for uh, you know, your comments, for liking it. If you do like this context, the content, please consider liking and subscribing. 
Uh, I really, really appreciate each and every one of you. So I hope you all have a great rest of your Friday. Have a great weekend. And you all take care of yourselves. Bye.